Good morning, everybody. <sighs> it's a Saturday morning. It's very gray and quite frankly, a little bit dismal for August 1. <laughs> <sighs> but hey, this is what the weather is like in the summer where I live. And after 20 years here, 25 years? Anyway, I am still missing my summers from the East Coast, but um, anyway, just speaking that out loud because it's true. <laughs> so what feels real for me today? Um, I have been feeling some low-grade exhaustion, <laughs> both in my body, but I think mostly in my psyche and this is I'm quite certain because of this constant state of uncertainty with the pandemic it almost feels like um, a meerkat that's the animal I almost feel like I'm a meerkat and I'm constantly like popping up and like looking left and right and wondering okay what's what do I need to know now? What's changed? What's coming down the, ra the road? What, you know, what's to be expected? What do we not know? What is this constant state of changing and not knowing? Unpredictability, things out of control. It is quite exhausting, at least for me, um, for somebody who really likes control and predictability and planning and all of that. So I am rolling with it. I'm continuing to just um, find where I have choice and where I can plan and going with that. But the all the other things that I cannot predict and control, yeah, it's like giving me a headache. <laughs> ongoing and just making me feel stress so that's what feels real for me today so I thought for today just a simple practice of coming back into the self spending a little time spending um, moments of just um, kindness and softening relaxing so join me in just a short simple meditation where we yeah find some peace so closing the eyes if that's comfortable for you and beginning to prepare the body to go inside So tapping into the breath, just simply following this natural rhythm of the breath. And now moving the awareness from the breath to the body, really waking up to whatever physical sensations may be most prominent or present in the body. Waking up to any areas that may be Feeling a little bit more clamped down, closed off, tight or tense. Also waking up to any other sensations in the body, maybe hot, cold, 
tingling, aching, itchiness. up to all the layers and sensations that live in our body. Allowing the softening to happen when possible. And leaning into and accepting areas that aren't yet ready to let go. Bringing breath into the body, this constant pattern flow of in and out. And then taking a moment to acknowledge whatever thoughts and feelings may be present. What's most alive for you today? What feels real? Meeting that with a sense of kindness, compassion, acceptance. And then allowing the breath again to really touch into the heart, the mind. Allowing the breath to accompany all that's present in the body flowing in and out. Now practicing staying with the breath. Present with the inhale and really present with the exhale. stuff that swirls around in our hearts and our heads, can we distill it down to the breath, in and out? And when something has pulled us away from the breath, just simply acknowledging that, celebrating this tiny moment of awakening and awareness and making a choice to come back.
How simple can it get? How still? Is there anywhere in the body that can let go just a little more? Shoulders away from the ears, hands opening, muscles in the face softening, falling. This is the practice, just coming back to ourselves, coming home. And meeting ourselves exactly as we are. Nowhere to go, nothing to do, and no one to be. Closing this practice by bringing the hands to the heart area and really holding ourselves, our stillness, our essence, our capacity to be with ourselves, really honoring this gift of the practice, the time we set aside to meet ourselves, to reconnect with ourselves and begin again. And with a final deep inhalation, and long, extended, full release of an exhalation. And coming back when you're ready. Thank you for joining me today. It is an honor to have others to practice with, especially during this long extended weird time. Let me just say that. So be kind.
kind to yourself, stay safe, and uh, yeah, have a beautiful day, rest of your day, and I will see you another time. Look forward to it.